Welcome to Train Signal. My name is Scott Lowe, and you're watching Windows 7 Administration Training. In this initial lesson for the Windows 7 Administration Training course, we'll start by talking about what the end product for this course is going to be. You'll then learn a little bit about me, and I'll give you a high-level overview of what we're going to be covering in this course. I'll then give you a glimpse of some prerequisites that you should undertake before you start this course, and then I'll give you some tips on how to use this course to best effect. In this course, you and I together will be creating a complete Windows 7 deployment and implementation plan. This plan will have a lot of components to it, starting with real business justifications. After all, Global Mantix, the pharmaceutical distributor with nationwide offices that we'll be using as a scenario in this course, isn't just going to buy Windows 7 because it happens to have been released by Microsoft. The company is going to want to see real business benefit that adds to the bottom line in order to move to this newest Windows iteration. We'll also learn about the processes that make Windows 7 deployment a breeze and also add to the Global Mantix bottom line through efficiencies that are not being realized in other ways right now. We'll learn about ways you can use Windows 7's exciting new features to improve the overall security of the desktop computing environment and keep Global Mantix in line with its regulatory partners. Some of these features include things like branch cache, direct access, and a number of other really cool new features that are included in Windows 7. In order to get the best possible benefit from Windows 7, you'll learn about methods to optimize the Windows 7 performance and eke out every ounce of capability which extends the life of the desktop investment, further adding to the financial benefits realized by a migration to Windows 7, at least we hope. My name is Scott Lowe, and I'm currently in my fourth year as the Chief Information Officer at Westminster College in Fulton, Missouri. I've spent more than 16 years in the IT field, starting out as a telecommunications technician, moving on as a network specialist, and then on to a systems engineer for a financial services company. I've also spent a number of years in IT management, but I remain very hands-on in my day-to-day -day activities in order to maintain my technical skill set. I'm a prolific author as well. I've written more than 1,000 technical articles for a variety of publications, and I've authored and co-authored three books, including the Microsoft Exchange Server 2007 Administrator's Companion. I am a Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer with deep knowledge of Windows and a lot of other Microsoft products. I love Microsoft stuff. I'm also a frequently early adopter of their new technologies, and I've been running Windows 7 for a very long time and love the product. I'm also a father of two and husband of one. My six-year-old son is proficient with his iPod Touch and Internet Explorer. I'm really proud of the little dude. The course is made up of four major components. We'll start by a getting started with Windows 7 component that includes Windows 7 features, deployment, and configuration. This initial section of the course also includes the foundational elements that are important to understand the course, including a look at my lab setup and a look at the Global Mantix environment in depth so you get an understanding of the organization we're attempting to support. That section also includes managing hardware and networking configuration for Windows 7 systems. We'll then move on to a portion of the course entitled Managing Windows 7 Mobility and Security Features that includes a lot of the new features that are included in Windows 7. These are features intended to improve the bottom line and help you stay safe by managing Windows 7's new features including BitLocker Full Disk Encryption, Windows Firewall, User Account Control, Direct Access Remote Access Capabilities, Windows Updates, and a new feature called Location-Based Printing. We'll then move on to configuring and managing applications and shared resources. This will help you improve collaboration capabilities for Global Mantix and empower people by understanding home group sharing techniques that are only available in home versions of Windows 7. They're actually available in all versions, but only used in the home. We will cover that in this course as an aside. But also help you enable access to shared files, folders, and printers implement a new feature called Branch Cache, which will help reduce costs for, for wide area network connections, and use a new feature called App Locker to improve the security of the desktop environment by managing access to applications. We'll wrap up by maintaining and optimizing Windows 7. 
Our goal is to make sure we get the best of the best out of our Windows 7 environment. We'll drive return on investment through the roof by monitoring and optimizing this investment and making sure that we protect the data through the use of Windows 7 backup tools and we'll also show how to restore from those backups in the event that disaster strikes. Before you get started with this course, there are a few things that you really need to understand. You should have a basic understanding of IPv4 and IPv6 address structures and requirements. You should also have at least a cursory knowledge of Active Directory concepts, including overall Active Directory structures, user groups, and organizational units. If you need some refresher information on these concepts, use the following TrainSignal products that you see on your screen. TrainSignal does have uh, courses for group policy, Active Directory, TCP IP, and networking fundamentals. The way you use this course will help you make the best effort to passing your certification exam and learning about Windows 7 administration. Following along at home is the best possible preparation you can take for any certification exam. Hands-on, real-world experience, uh, there's nothing akin to it. You can't read a book and get what you can get by actually using the product. If you're not planning to take the certification exams, if you're just attempting to learn Windows 7, this advice holds. Using the product is going to be your best path to success. Use the lab setup video in this course to learn how to build your own complete lab environment. I've provided very detailed configuration information for the, the lab setup that we're using in this course. You should be able to replicate this in your own lab. Download trial copies of Windows Server 2008 software from Microsoft for the server build-out side of the course. Windows 7 is only as good as the Windows Server 2008 R2 infrastructure that sits behind it. A number of new Windows 7 features, including branch cache and direct access, require Windows Server 2008 R2 on the back end in order to work. Take notes along the way, particularly if you found an interesting topic. To note the timestamp for that interesting topic so you can come back later to review that topic if you want to use it in your own environment. Although the videos are sort of intended to build on each other, they can be watched in any order you like. So don't think you have to watch videos two through whatever you want to watch just to get information about a particular topic. Most importantly, if something doesn't make sense, go back and try it again. Learning through repetition is pretty common in the educational space, and this is really no different. If you still can't quite get it, though, let us know in the Train Signal forums, and we'll do everything we can to help you grasp that concept. Before you take the certification exam for Windows 7 administration, make sure you watch the lesson entitled How to Use Transcender to Prepare for a Certification Exam to help you learn the ins and outs of using this very popular exam preparation tool for your own use. Make sure you also watch the Preparing for Your MCTS 7680 Certification Exam lesson at the end of this very course that will also give you some tips for making sure that you have the best possible chance for passing your 7680 Certification Exam. In this lesson, we covered of what we're building. We talked about what's going to be going on in this course and what the end goal of the course is. Remember, that's to make sure we have a viable Windows 7 implementation plan for Global Mantics. You learned a little bit about me, your esteemed instructor, Scott Lowe. We talked about the course itself and how it's broken down and talked about many of the topics that will be covered in this course. You then learned about some things you need to understand before you begin this course. Those are pretty important foundational elements, so don't take them lightly. We then wrapped up by talking about how to use this course to best effect. And now that we've talked about the course, it's time to get started. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the rest of the course.